Hello everyone. In this video, I will be covering everything ProjectWise, from initial count setup to tips and tricks for working within ProjectWise Explorer. This is not meant to replace the instructions on the CAD wiki, but rather work in conjunction with them. As we go along, I will reference the relevant wikis, as well as show them on the screen so you can follow along. Also, this video has been broken up into chapters, so you can skip around as necessary. To access the Design Resource Center, go to your internet browser of choice, I prefer Chrome, and you can search for the Design Resource Center. This should be one of the first options you have. Once inside the Design Resource Center, we have a direct link to the CAD Wiki. On the left side of your screen, you should see the CAD section. Click on that. This will take you to the CAD Wiki. So, what is ProjectWise? ProjectWise is a cloud-based document management system, or DMS. It is similar to Windows File Explorer in that files are stored inside of folders, but the main differences are that all files are stored in the cloud, more similar to OneDrive, and users must check files in and out. When you want to edit a file, you check it out, which locks it. When you're done, you check it back in, freeing the lock. While you have the file checked out, nobody else can edit it. Folder names, project creation, permissions management, and in some places file naming conventions are all managed by the ProjectWise administrator. More information on the folder structure is available on the CAD Wiki under ProjectWise Project Management, ProjectWise Guidance, ProjectWise Folder Structure and Contents, PW2102. So, how do you get into ProjectWise? Well, there are a few things you will need to do before you can actually get in and start using ProjectWise. You will need a Bentley IMS account, have the account added into Dodot's ProjectWise data source, Bentley's connection client and ProjectWise Explorer client installed on your machine. The first and most important is a Bentley IMS account. You will use this account to log into connection client. Connection client handles licensing for all Bentley products. For internal users, your Bentley IMS account is not the same as your state login. If you do not already have a Bentley IMS account, load connection client and click new user register now at the bottom of the window. Click on don't have an account, register now. Make sure to use your at Delaware.gov email address, fill out all the fields and hit create account. This will fire off an automated email to your at Delaware.gov email address, asking for verification, as well as send an account approval request to CAD support behind the scenes. Once CAD support approves, your account will be active and you will be able to log into connection client. Once you have logged in, you can close the connection client window. For external users, contact your internal support section. Once you have your Bentley IMS account, you will need it approved in our system. If you're not part of a project in ProjectWise and just need access to our CAD standards, email CAD support and provide the email address tied to your Bentley IMS account. If you are or will be part of a project in ProjectWise, contact your Dell.PM and have the email address tied to your Bentley IMS account added to a new or existing project via the appropriate form. When using the ProjectWise Project Creation and Access Control form, for example, users added to this form will automatically be created and approved within our system if they do not already exist. Once you have your Bentley IMS account and have successfully logged into Connection Client, you will need to load ProjectWise Explorer Client. To load up ProjectWise Explorer Client, go to your Start menu and start typing in Project. This should come up as one of the first items in your list. If it does not, scroll down until you find it and click on ProjectWise Explorer. If you would like, you can pin ProjectWise to your taskbar. To do this, simply click on the ProjectWise icon and select Pin to Taskbar. Once inside ProjectWise Explorer, you should see the Dodot production and Dodot testing data sources in the pane on your left. Internal users should already have Dodot's data source set up by default. If you do not see this, you can follow along on the CAD Wiki under ProjectWise Project Management, ProjectWise Guidance, ProjectWise Explorer Configuration PW2101. Go to Tools, Network Configuration Settings, DNS Services, copy dodot-pw.bentley.com from the server name, paste in the server name, the host name, and the port. Click Add, and make sure to check Prevent UDP. Go to Data Source Listing, paste the server name, the host name, 
and the port. Click Add, and again, click Prevent UDP. Hit Save, and Close. You should now see the Dell Production and Dell Testing data sources. Okay, now expand the Dell Production data source. You will be prompted with a message asking you to set up your working directory. For internal users, just click Yes. For external users, contact your internal support section as they may have a separate working directory that you should be using. Okay, now that you have your Bentley IMS account set up, you're logged into Connection Client, and you have ProjectWise Explorer set up, how do you actually use ProjectWise? As mentioned earlier, ProjectWise is a document management system. Anytime you want to edit a file, you will need to check it out. When you are finished editing the file, you will check it back in to commit the changes. Checking out a file will download it from the ProjectWise servers onto your local working directory. When you have a file checked out, it is locked to you and nobody else can edit it. When you are finished editing it, you will check it back in, which will commit your changes and upload to the ProjectWise servers. It is recommended you check in any files you have checked out at the end of each day. Why is this important? Let's say already has crashed on you for the 100th time today and you've just had enough. You throw your computer out the nearest window with extreme prejudice. As your computer hits the ground and smashes into a thousand tiny pieces, you realize you did not check any of your files back in. All the changes you made to your files today are now lost as they only existed on your computer and were not committed back up to the servers. Okay, let's run through a typical check-in check-out process. We'll use a MicroStation file as an example. Double-click the file to open it. If necessary, ProjectWise will begin downloading any necessary resource files and then load MicroStation. This may take a few minutes if this is your first time. Once inside the file, make changes as necessary and then close the program. You will then be prompted with a dialog asking you if you want to check the file back in. Clicking check in will commit your changes back to the server. There are two other options worth mentioning, update server copy and free. Update server copy, similar to check in, uploads your changes to the ProjectWise server, but keeps the file checked out to you. This is useful if you are still actively working on a file, but need to create a rendition, as the rendition process only works on files that actually reside on the servers. Free discards the local copy and no changes are uploaded to the ProjectWise servers. This is effectively a super read-only. Free should only be used when necessary, or by those who understand that any changes made will be lost. So, when might you actually want to use free? Let's say you win a ride on a boat with T-Pain and forget to check your files back in. While you are out living it up, wearing flippy floppies, and the rest of us are back in the office straight flipping copies, your files are locked and nobody can get in. Your manager, assuming they have the appropriate permissions, can free any files you have checked out. It is important to note that any changes you have made will be lost when the file is freed. Alright, we're all set up in ProjectWise and we know what it is. So now what? How do you actually get to the project files and where are they? The department has organized capital projects by T number within ProjectWise. These are located under Documents, Active Projects, Dota Capital Projects. You will only see projects that you have access to, so if you feel there is a project missing, please contact your Dota PM. Access Management and Creation of New Projects must use the ProjectWise Project Creation and Access Control form, must come from a Dota PM, and must be sent to the Dota CAD support email address. This form is located on the CAD wiki under ProjectWise Project Management, ProjectWise Guidance, ProjectWise Project Creation and Access Control Form. Please always use the latest form off of the CAD wiki. Project folders within ProjectWise are called work areas. The work area name for internal Dell dot projects is the T number. For projects that have consultant involvement, the work area is the T number followed by the consultant abbreviation. There will be a work area set up for each consultant. Once you are inside of a project, you will see that the department has a very well-defined photo structure that users are not allowed to modify. More information on the photo structure can be found on the CAD wiki under ProjectWise Project Management, ProjectWise Guidance, 
ProjectWise folder structure and contents. Similar to work areas, folders have access control on them as well. If you do not see a specific folder, it is probably because you do not have access to see it. There are a few special folders to make note of. Under 100, Folder 110 Project Work Plan has been unofficially commandeered to act as an FTP for projects with consultant involvement. This will allow for sharing of files back and forth. Another important folder to make note of is the 400 CAD folder. Within here, we have an environment set up that requires a specific naming convention. To create a new file using this naming convention, you will right click, go to New, Document, and choose Advanced Wizard. If you do not see this, go to Tools, Wizard Manager, and select Clear Default, and hit Close. Follow the steps. Make sure to use the appropriate seed by hitting Select, navigating to O2 Standards, Seed Files, and then choose the appropriate seed and click Open. Clicking Next, enter in your sheet type, set the drawing type, enter a short description as necessary, and click Generate. All DGNs created within the 400 section require this naming convention. For more information on file naming and file structure, please see the Plan Production Guidelines on the CADWiki. This is located under Plan Production, General, Plan Production Guidelines, PL2101. We will now go over tips and tricks, as well as some general recommendations. ProjectWise has an address bar located at the top left of your screen by default. This will give you a full path to the file or folder you have currently selected. If you select copy, it will copy the text in the address bar. The preferred method is to use copy URN. This will copy a direct link to the file itself as it's stored on the ProjectWise servers. This way, if the file is moved, the link will not break. This is an example of what the three different methods look like. Copy URN will look like this, copy URL like this, and just straight copy like this. If you find an error in a file on the ProjectWise server, you have 30 days to have it restored. To get a file restored, contact CAD support, provide the full path to the file and the file name to be restored. Please also include the date with which you want to restore it from. CAD support will put in a ticket with Bentley and provide the restored file via email. The typical turnaround time for this is under 24 hours on a workday. The local document organizer will let you see all files you have checked out. This is especially useful if you are working on multiple projects or across multiple folders. To find this, go to Tools, Local Document Organizer. As you can see, I have three files checked out. From here, I can either check in, free, or update server copy, as expected. If you see a long list of files or projects, you can utilize the filters on the header of any column. For example, if you are a part of a large number of projects and want to find a specific project but don't remember the T number, you can go to Dell.Capital Projects and start typing in the description field. In this example, I have typed street into the description filter field. As you can see, it has filtered out any project that contained the word street within the description. Please note it is very important that you clear this filter. If you were to go into a project, you will now see nothing as the filter is still active. To remove the filter, you can either click the filter button and hit clear current filter or delete out the text. And now you can see your files or folders. It is possible to link other programs into ProjectWise. Bluebeam, for example, can link directly into ProjectWise. Specific instructions for this are located on the CAD wiki under Plan Production, General, Plan Production Guidelines, PL2101. Navigate down to the section 4.2, Combine Multiple Files into a Single PDF. This here will walk you through how to link Bluebeam to ProjectWise. Other programs such as Microsoft Word can also access ProjectWise. For example, when inside of Word, go to Open, Select ProjectWise and hit Browse. 
If it asks you to log in, choose the appropriate data source, in this case, dot out production, change your authentication method to Bentley IMS, and hit click log in. You can now navigate to your appropriate project. As mentioned earlier, ProjectWise stores all files you are working on in your local working directory and structures them by folder ID. The folder ID can be found in the upper right pane by looking under the folder ID column. In this case, my folder ID is 28557. When ProjectWise downloads a file to your local working directory, it will use the folder ID with a DMS prefix. To see this, we can go to File Explorer, go to your C drive, go to BMS, go to del dot pw-01, go to your name, and you can sort by date modified, and you'll see that DMS28557 is at the top of my list. Inside of here, I can see the PDF. Please note that if you place a file in this folder, it will not be linked back into ProjectWise. You must do that through the ProjectWise interface. You can bring up the properties of any file or folder by pressing the space bar. ProjectWise stores an audit trail for all files and folders within its data source. By going to Properties, selecting the Audit Trail tab, you can see the audit trail for the file or folder. By default, this audit trail is set to 30 days. To change this, hit the Customize button at the bottom left, go to the Date tab, and change the date range. To edit the attributes on a file, select the file, go to Properties, go to the Attributes tab, and edit the properties as necessary. To edit the attributes on multiple files, select all the files you want, right-click, and choose Modify. Then, under the Dota Attributes tab, you can edit the attributes in bulk. When double-clicking on a file in ProjectWise, it will check it out and launch the default program associated with that file type. In this case, I am showing a MicroStation file. You can open this with another program by right-clicking, going to Open With, and choosing the appropriate program. Alternatively, you can go to Tools, Associations, Programs. As we saw in the earlier example when I opened the MicroStation file, ProjectWise downloaded all the appropriate resource files. This is because the department has what is called a managed workspace. This basically means that all of Dalot's CAD resources will automatically download onto your computer as necessary. Anytime a resource file has been updated, the next time you open a DGN, the appropriate resource file will be automatically downloaded and updated. When creating renditions, you can see where you are in the queue. To see this, right-click on a file, select Create Renditions, and click View Active Jobs. If you have any further questions, please direct them to the CAD support email as shown on your screen. This is a joint email address that all CAD support staff have access to.